What? Back on Wednesdays? <laughs> no, we're back. Uh, hey, everybody, thanks for coming to Side Dish. And I'm Doug, as you probably already know, and Amy's here. Um, we're going to make uh, Dutch Babies, the mini variety. Dutch. Um, so what, 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 they're kind of a pancake, but they're from... Netherlands? They're Netherlands. actually, well, they call them Dutch babies, but they're German. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that because Deutschland. But you know what? You know what I've been thinking about these? What, what, what? Well, I don't know how to make crepes. You never, I don't know if you do or not. I've never really tried. Our friend John Our friend them. John is excellent at them. Yeah. But I think this could be our crepe. Because you can put all the same yum yum on it. You can, and that's the best part. Uh so, yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, popovers. Uh, what yeah, is it? They, uh, uh, what's that pudding? Uh, Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. They're very similar, similar. right? Because yeah. when you're doing thin dough and yeah, yeah, and you pour it. The thing with Yorkshire pudding is there's a usually beef fat that you pour into it before, is the, and that's sort of the medium. It grill it like sort of fries and poofs at the same time in the oven. Anyways, I made I used to make popovers when I was a kid with my mom. It was one of the first things I ever baked. I didn't know that. Yeah. How come you never made we one? Because I stopped making one. I don't know why. I just huh. did. But uh, yeah, so these are pretty easy. There's only let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ingredients. And they're not all that bad. So <laughs> <laughs> we're making people hungry for unmade food. Okay. The other thing we're going to make is we're going to make a... Um, oh, we're going to make some cinnamon apples to go on to the go Dutch on babies. Top. And then I'm also going to make this. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, so think of veteran if you see them. Um, but we're going to get we're going to get shit housed. We're going to make... You guys like how we printed the recipes for Doug so he could see them? Yeah, they're huge. <laughs> but uh, we're going to make these. Uh, it's a vodka, peppermint schnapps, half and half. We ate happen to have whole milk so that's what we're going to use and then you use you can rim them with corn syrup or and crushed candies yeah we're just going to add the crushed candies directly to it sort of like grasshopper style where you can put like crunch mints in there too that'd be yeah that'd be good all right but there is an order of operation to all of this because well things not, have to sit yeah i cut my finger slightly before we went on the air and uh now i have this uh beautiful Finger sock. <laughs> Anyways, let's get. That's not what we call it, Doug. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what's funny? Um, this is it, the recipe. I, I found this funny. It has cups and stuff for the rest, but for the powdered sugar or jam, it just has one. Yep. One condiment. We have no idea what that means. Well, it's just to sprinkle on or, to, you know, where we get cinnamon apples instead of powdered sugar or jam. No, this is for the Dutch babies. I know, honey. We're putting cinnamon apples on our Dutch oh. baby instead of powdered sugar and or jam. This is what happens when you work all day and you rush home and you have to pick up wine and you're like frazzled. So you text your wife that's like side dish tonight and she just gives you a thumbs up in the text. Like, <laughs> yep, that's true. And then I have to be like, ideas. And we have to. Frantically run around and try to get stuff together. God forbid we have a plan. People. No, come on. You guys have been watching this show for long enough. We're not this planning. Episode 77. Do not, I think it's 77. Do, uh, I think I messed up last week's episode number. I'll just redo it um, in the, I'll update the title. But anyways, it doesn't matter. The point of the thing is that we got this. Um, it's, it's, it's probably going to work. That's the biggest thing. You yep. Know, that's the thing to remember on all of this. Um, how was your guys' week? I've had three days weeks, three day weeks for the past month. Yeah. Basically, the past month, I've had three day weeks. Uh, we went to wine country. I went to Vegas for a golf tournament. Uh, I went to, and then this week we have Veterans Day uh, tomorrow. So I took Friday off. I mean, what kind of fool wouldn't? So that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. You know, I didn't. Work. Well, I don't know why you didn't. I gave you the suggestion to Take do this. Young minds depending on no. me, Doug. Fine. Okay. Um, let's get get it together. Yeah. So we need, let's go. Start all we making need is that four large eggs. Batter. And it goes into a blender. You're gonna need a special equipment. You need a blender because everything is like I said. This is a loose batter. And. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Before you started this. 
Um, you started preheating the oven to 425. Yes. You, you need, need a rack in the middle. And remove, nothing up above it. Yeah. Go ahead. I keep interrupting you. That's okay. And then you're going to, you want to have that in there because you need to, your vessel, we're doing this in a mini, or not mini, in a muffin tin. And it needs to be in there. And it's it, getting hot yeah, right now. Because it's sort of like when you're, if you're making anything that you need to add to it, you have to have a hot vessel for it to go in. Okay, so. four eggs. Yep. One cup all purpose flour. Ooh, I forgot to get that out. Naughty, naughty. Um, yeah, so that's been, we've had, and Amy had a whole week house to herself last weekend. What did you do? I didn't really ask you what you did. I had this great movie marathon. Yeah. While I did like other crafting stuff. Yeah. Okay, one cup whole milk. Um, Do you see the, Did we talk about these last week? These little, I don't think so, but these are so super cute. cool. We got these in IKEA. Yeah, they're, yeah, IKEA. But they're like, like you know, I feel like I'm a scientist. We don't have an IKEA here, but we have to go to stack them right up for it. But one cup. I use them. Yeah, I use the I use that one to make candles too. Oh, probably should have told so you these, that. These are wax. This is what happens. You go away and all of your cooking. Oh, yeah, I made some candles. Craft things. Hopefully there's not a waxy residue in here that comes out. So one, one of those. It's going to be. A quarter cup sugar. Uh, uh, I didn't get any sugar. Jeez, we are bad. I thought you did. I thought no. I saw a bag of sugar. That's the convectioner sugar. Oh. That's Why'd why you I get that? Oh, uh, never mind. We have confection of sugar. Well, you know, I never know what, what we have and don't have. Half, half a cup? Uh, quarter cup. Okay, quarter cup. All right, quarter cup. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Okay. Uh, is there any dry uh, that goes in it? What? Is there any dry ingredients before I, because then I don't have to. Mm. Or evaporate. One teaspoon vanilla extract. No, I got you. I got you. I got you covered, man. Let's use the little bit that's on here. Oh, who put that on? Hercules? It always sticks like that. Yeah. We're savage. We didn't even take like that. <laughs> we were busy. I, you think I live here, know these things, but half teaspoon salt. Something is going on with my brain today that I'm like, um, I don't know. Like I can't. I'm like I came home and I was like, did I do something? Okay, blend it for a minute. One whole minute. Yep. Oh Moses. You know this is good. So again, start on low. Yeah, I don't think I ever met a, a vanilla cap that didn't stick. I agree, Deefy. If it didn't stick, you would worry. That's not quality or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Looking good? Well, no. We have a, okay. Clean some stuff up. Minutes. No, 60 whole seconds. Yeah. 60 minutes. That would be a long time to stir. Okay. So now you need six tablespoons unsalted butter. Got it. And each of those cut in half. Because you're going to put one chunk in each of the muffin oh, tins. Oh, I gotcha. So we're only making six. That's no, we're, we're making 12. Oh, cut in half. That's there? bad at the math. Don't you want to keep that measure yeah. on there? Yep. This is why we have to have two of us. <laughs> because I sometimes am a crazy person. Can you guys believe we have 77 of these? I can't believe it. <laughs> I was talking to some people in when I was in Las Vegas, because uh, I was there. Um, so I'm part of the organization called the Mediocre Golf. Uh, um, association. association. It's if you're mediocre at golf, you should join. It's pretty fun. Look for a chapter in your town. But uh, we have what's we have the world championships every year in Las Vegas, and um, you get to meet people from it's all over the world. It's really. Did you okay. stop? I didn't do that. What just happened, folks? There's a ghost in here. Whoa. Isn't that was that? weird. Like, did the lights go up or anything? I didn't notice. Watch over there. Oh. This is on the lower This house side. is haunted. Okay, we're done. 
because that was weird. We're gonna let this sit over here. For ten ten minutes. For ten, ten whole minutes. Ten whole minutes. All right. So we'll put a timer on. Yeah, I'm gonna get this out of the way because that was okay. weird. This is like oh, we've only used this a handful of times. I don't, I don't I got it in Costco, so you can take it. Well, you've been having a problem with that plug. No, I plugged it into the thing and it's plugged in over there. Oh. So, whatever, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay. Okay, so hold on. I got to do this. Just a little excitement. I'm going to do the butter first. And then, (laughs) but you saw that, right? I'm not saying it did. I saw it. Went went crazy. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, back in Vegas. And so I was trying to explain, like, people I was golfing with and some uh, friends that we kind of see every year. And I was explaining to them, well, they, I didn't really bring it up. Some of my other golfing buddies did. And they were like, yeah. Because they're very impressed with my skills, apparently. They never what watched. are you talking about? They didn't bring up the show? They did. I didn't. And then, Why not? I don't know, you because, don't know how to self-promote? No, Come on, man. I'm not good at it. You know that. Um, I, you know, I interviewed for a job. And it was like, or not interviewed for a job. I tried to sell myself. And it was in my resume. And it was haphazard. Just put it that way. Anyways, uh, so I was telling, I was trying to explain, and then they were like, "How many episodes have you done?" I was like, "Like oh, 77. And they're like, "What in the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> um, so, anyways, yes, here we are. Okay, so now we need to make this cocktail. Now, this cocktail is made in a pitcher. Is that not the cutest pitcher you've ever seen have, in like, your you life? Know, if it had legs, everybody would be the Kool Aid Man pitcher. It totally would. You know, it's. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get sued. No, we're not gonna get sued. You can get sued for saying, "Oh yeah." Do you know? Do you know what's even, even more great about that picture? More great. Yeah. What? It rolled off the counter and didn't break. How is that possible? It rolled off the counter and it landed on the mat down there, and then it rolled onto the tile and okay. it didn't break. That's why. Because I know, but still, time. I've broken so many oh my things. God. Amy is literally. I'm not even sure. How, like, I, I told her if she dropped one more thing, I would have to send her to the doctor to see what we're wrong with her. Because she couldn't, she was like dropping everything. All right, so one cup of milk, oh, uh, whole milk or half and half. Yeah, half and half probably is better. I had cream, but it was a little bit over. So I, we couldn't combine the two. Well, now the dogs have decided it's, it's go time. Uh, peppermint schnapps. This we've had in uh, our liquor cabinet for a very long time. Since last Christmas. Uh, oh, is anybody else getting excited for uh, the old uh, Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving? Holiday season. I'm getting real excited for Thanksgiving. It's you know by far my favorite holiday. I love Christmas and all, but um, I don't know. I don't know if you do love Christmas. <laughs> kind of, kind of shade naughty about Christmas. That? Hold on, I forgot. I did forgot my jigger over. Ginger ale. Here. Oh. I was like, there's no ginger ale in this. All right. So, and I need six ounces of vodka, which I didn't get either. My God, I am bad at this. We need an unnecessary conversion. Is John on? How much is six ounces? Can we just measure? Th- well, wait. We could just measure that oh. using the measuring cup. Yeah, I'm going to pour it here. So, six of these bad boys. No, I thought you were going to figure it out. No, that's John's oh. job. And if you can't show up for the show. Are we going to have enough? Be no. Oh, man. It's going to be close. Probably you could just dump that whole thing in. <gasps> we don't have enough. This cocktail stinks. We don't have any other vodka, you think? I don't know. Let me Wait, go. we do. We have a terrible vodka right here. No, honey, that is not vodka. That is <laughs> homemade Kahlua or homemade coffee liqueur. I always, I'm, I'm yeah. You can have some pineapple vodka in there. That would be terrible. You don't know. Yeah, I do know. You don't know. Yes, I do know. So get some ice in your glass because that's right. Ice, it needs to be over ice. Should I put ice in this? Okay. Here, here, here. Okay. I don't know what you. Here's a spit cut. Oh yeah, we have some. I totally, knew, I totally knew about that, guys. So we've got about four and a half in there. <laughs> so remember our exact measurement. 
Yeah, that's out there. <laughs> Okay. I'd say Some cloudy vodka. Oh, it's got milk in it. Three quarters. It's almost a cup, but like three quarters of a cup. Okay, cool. Did you crush some? I did. You want me to put it in here or put it in the glass? You probably there? should put ice in there. No, I'm like, <laughs> looks kind of sad without any ice. No, I, I'll pour it in here. It'll be fine. Then we will put it in the refrigerator. But we do want, let's stir it up just to get ourselves a little. Fighting chance. I don't know. <laughs> hey, if anybody sees one of us collapse, it's called poison control. <laughs> it does smell pretty yeah, good. It's gonna smell great. So some bunch of yummy stuff in there. Oh my gosh, that picture looks so cute. So we don't have to go to work tomorrow, so we're gonna get trash. <laughs> and then that's actually not that much, it's like two glasses, but it is a lot of pure alcohol. Yeah. So now I mean, I'm it probably, yeah. Just don't choke on the big chunks. <laughs> Famous last words. Just don't choke. That's fine. I mean, it's almost like putting glass shards in there, so. <laughs> 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 oh, I took the one that has the beer. Oh, that looks cute. Let's have a drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it, good. It's good, but it is boozy. Yeah, it is. Okay. You could probably, you could put some uh, bubbly water in here, like kind of like the Smith and Kearns, you know? Uh, no, you hate it? Okay. No, but you know what would make it better? Cream or half and half would be better. Yeah. Everything about this is good, but if you did it with, you need the cream because it needs to be thicker. Yeah. I am not going to not drink it. So, <laughs> you know, had we followed the recipe, it would have been better. But it's good the way it is. It is good. So it's pluses all around. Yeah. Okay. So, has it been 10 minutes? No. Let me check. I think it's been about 10 minutes. No, honey. No. You got three minutes left. But here's what you have to do you have to get that out and you have to put a chunk oh. of butter in each one. Okay. Let that butter melt a bit. So this has been cooking in the oven. Well, not cooking per se, but. Heating. Yep, that's exactly what you want to happen. Perfect. Just don't touch it and burn yourself. Because, you know, as I'm apt to do, I know you guys like to see me suffer, but. Okay, so that needs to sit there, and uh, now we're still waiting. So let's do something. Um, you can start. Clean. What are you going to do? I'm yeah. going to cut the out. Yeah, I love it. So this needs to move over here. You let me know when I get to the point where I need to. Okay. Has anybody else made duck, duck babies before? Yeah, a lot of people have. Oh, okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of positive Dutch baby talk. Okay, perfect. I've never watched Downton Abbey. I've heard wonderful things, but I just Mother never watched, watched that. Yes, yeah, she did. And she always recommended. I actually own a collection of Downton Abbey uh, quilting fabric that I've yet to make a quilt out of, but it's quite lovely. Okay, so slices or chunks or? Chunks. Half skin inch. on, skin off. Doesn't matter. Perfect. It's the way I like it. Doesn't matter. That makes it a lot easier to do. What are we talking about? What kind of dice? Small? Half inch, I said. I didn't hear that. Maybe I'm having mental issues that I've got to go get taken care of. Can't hear anything. <laughs> so they made that fabric. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm responding to DP right now. That's fine. They made that fabric and each character like had a line. That like, I guess match their personality or something. So the but the pieces that I bought, I bought from like three or four from each character um, <clears throat> to make a quilt out of. And some are very different. Like some are very traditional patterns, and then some are very um, like 
modern-y kind of. I don't remember what. I mean, I think I've watched maybe one. I understand what it is. Maybe it's a cultural phenomenon, but I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Who is that? Eric says, what? Regarding Downtown Abbey. Oh. Downtown Abbey. Yeah, well, you know. I know. Sometimes I miss the boat on things. Well, it's like I watch a lot of TV. The thing is, is that like it's like when somebody's like, "You got to watch The Wire." I'm like, "Yeah, I probably should watch it. I'm sure it's a great show." Is that it? Idris Elba was he in that? I don't remember. I don't know. honestly. I don't know. He was in Luther. I know that much. Okay, time for our Dutch babies. Okay, because we okay. got a third of a cup, ish. In just, each of those so fingers. Just pour it into the thing. No, I had alcohol. Yeah. No, I would get the scooper. Is there a scoop? You know the. No. What scooper? Why are you making a face? You know the ones that look like really large. Uh... No, 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 no. In the drawer. With the long handles, they're metal. They look like extra. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. That's a half cup. Let's see if I have a third of a cup. That's the only one that I see. Okay, well, I bet you keep. Nope, two, we have two half cups. I know. I don't understand why I don't we have that. And we don't have any more. Yep. Well, we have others, but I think you could figure it out with that one. So less than that. I could just use this one right here, which is a third of a cup. Well, I'd unhook it from that. Isn't that set cool? Oh, I didn't know it unhooked that easy. Yeah, they're just like a carabiner thing. Ah, very cool. Oh, cheese, guys. Um, cheese, guys? Cheese, guys. They're made of cheese. Hey, but speaking of that, do you guys remember, if you were old like me, and in the 80s when you would watch cartoons. Oh, yeah, look at that melty butter. There was a guy. Delicious. Hey, Sandor, nice of you to make it, bud. <laughs> um, but there was a guy, there was a cartoon, and he was he was in the amorphous blob. But he wore a cowboy hat. He was like a chunk of chunk of cheddar cheese, and he like danced around with cowboy boots. You guys remember this? I think or, it might be stroking out. Or is this something that happened in Alaska? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> because it's possible. It is always possible. Uh, <laughs> Get out of the kitchen, Piper. All right, so we need one third of these, a cup in each one. Yeah, ish, I said. Wow, that looks like a lot. It does, but that's a third of a cup. Okay. You see what happens, everyone. Yep, we're gonna see what happens, everyone. Like it's like we should have like dramatic music playing when I do this because I feel like. I feel like this is not gonna work. Well, I feel like that's, we're not going to have enough. And we're going to have plenty. For all 12 of those? Yeah. Well, what? I think, no, no, no we're not. Yeah, we are. Don't worry. What do you guys think? You guys think we're going to have enough? I don't think we're going to have enough. I'm using the little side camera, even though it doesn't love it. Yeah, I don't know. I know I need, you know what I need is I need. Because that would be, that's an awesome shot right there if it doesn't get all garbage. I need a good. video. I need a new, the computer with actually a discrete video card in it because. Well, Doug, you might be right. No, you're not going to be right. Yeah. Oh, you're cheating now. No. I totally saw you cheat that. Well, you don't know things, I do. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that what you think? It is. I don't know things. <laughs> well, now we have some uh, a control that is, you know, the ones that are in there that like a half full. You have one that's like completely full and very, very in the mouth. Hmm. I'm a scientist. I've already mentioned this once. Okay. How long do they cook? I don't know. Cool. <laughs> 12 to 15 <laughs> minutes. Extreme close. <laughs> If we had a if we had a camera that could do that, Zander, where you could go in and out, then we would do that. But twelve minutes? Twelve to fifteen. All right, let's go thirteen and then we'll look at it. Okay. Now let's get these apples under control. Yeah, here. get those apples going. So, um what is your what are you guys gonna what like a what's a non-traditional Thanksgiving side that you make for your Thanksgiving? 
I'm interested in that because, um, you know, I do a lot of different. Well, who's, you mean non-traditional to you? I mean, well, I mean it's, it's, like it's traditional to them. Sure. Okay, fine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, what do you guys I don't do? know how to pronounce that. C H A R O S E T. What is that? Please put the phonetics in for me. Gluten free anything, Sandor. I'm so sad for you. Yeah, I made him gluten free biscuits when we went to golf camp, and he loved them. He thanked me profusely for them, which is odd because usually. He just and you made sure that the chili was, and the gravy was uh, gluten free. Yeah, they, he was able to participate, not have to be sad and eat his own sandwiches or whatever he usually does. But um, be sad and eat his own sandwiches. Anyways, my point being is, you know, uh, what do I need now? Uh, sorry, I need three cups of three apples chopped. About we have two, so that's what that's we're doing. Uh, one tablespoon of salted salted butter. Gross. Just use the unsalted and throw a little salt in there to taste. Okay. Okay, let's get this bad boy started and see how much we're going to... I got to go buy some more butane for this bad boy. Which oh, might... it's apples and cinnamon and wine, etc. all mixed up. You make it during Passover. It sounds delicious. Randy, you're looking yeah, good. Yeah, let's make that. You're looking good, I Randy. I like that. Ooh. Oh, pumpkin apple cake instead of pie every year. Oh, my God. The, oh, every now and then. The candies have melted a little bit in this, and so it's like turned it pink. Oh, mine didn't do that. Yeah. I drank it too fast. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what. Doug good. makes cherry pie at Thanksgiving because my yeah. cousin requested it once, and it that is, is delicious. True. I do that. Okay, so now we got this here. So now we need to belt the butter. Make sure there's no paper on it, like this right here. And um, once we'll do that, we'll add in the. I apples. mean, we're really just kind of making this up because we don't have the maple syrup. So it's basically butter, apples, cinnamon, sugar. We didn't put any of the simple. Do syrup what you in. like. Is there supposed to be simple syrup in there? I thought you said there was supposed to be. Nah, put it in with the apples though, because there's supposed to be maple oh, syrup in there. Syrup. Yeah, we can use a little. I think that'll be fine. So okay, so we're melting butter. Use your pusher. Food pusher. Speaking of food pushers, isn't this exciting? Did you just look? <laughs> Maybe your new spatula won't do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we were uh, very interestingly speaking about this show. Uh, I was contacted by a company. Doug about, is very excited about possibly promoting their spatulas on this show. Yeah. And, That's uh, fun. Yeah. So we'll see. What the details are, we got to we got to follow up, and I just need to follow up with them and see if it's gonna work. Um, you know, I thought it flattering that they would reach out and want to do something with this show. Yep, love it. All right, so one three like three minutes there. You want that to soften up, and then add the water and the maple syrup and all the rest of it. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh. And pink stuff. Cool whip, strawberry jello, and strawberries. Yeah. Oh, does it have a does it have a pretzel crust? Pretzel crust? Yeah. What? Pretzel crust. So good. I that. Now I probably mentioned this, but I'm gonna spatchcock a turkey this year. And no, gonna, no pretzel crust. And All I'm right. gonna put it in, I'm gonna make it on the trigger this year. And we're going to smoke it real low. I think we should record you because I would like to watch you spatchcock a turkey. Well, I mean, maybe we could do a Thanksgiving special in which you don't see anything happening with the turkey because it's the one cooking. And I've already done that, except for cutting the, the spatchcocking it out. And then I can just like have a maybe, oh, we just do a Thanksgiving live stream. Because I didn't, I thought. I was my in my mind, spatchcocking should happen the opposite of the way it does happen. Yes, you take the backbone out, and then once it's the backbone's out, you lay it flat, and then you take your hand and break the breastbone, and it lays completely flat at that point. If you've ever not done it, I don't need this any longer. I need this, and I thought. 
We should do it. She, she it would it. be easier. But that's probably, I don't know. It would be easier to cut out the breastbone and make it go flat. Right. But that's not how you do it. I mean, you know what we should actually do and not use the simple syrup? We should just use like brown sugar. Oh, I'm going to use a little brown sugar. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. Where are you going? I'm putting the bits away. What? You don't have to. You don't know how to put things away. You're dangerously close and get it on camera. I'm not on camera. Don't worry. Someday you're Just my cute fingernails. Someday you're going to have to reveal yourself. Someday. Let's be, whoops, there's the light. Sorry, folks. Um, I'm adorable. Just know that. <laughs> if you spatchcock the turkey, that is true. Where do you put the stuffing, Douglas? Well, I never stuffed the bird anyways. I only use, I use dressing. My mother did, but I don't. Doug doesn't. Technically, what I usually do is just I, I make a mirepoix and a, and a um, herb garnet and i mix those together or i put those <laughs> together and then i stuff it in the bird so that with apples and cinnamon onions carrots and celery and then like sage rosemary thyme you know all the all the classics but i also tony's giving you the blasphemy you know what blasphemy whatever <laughs> i don't like draw i don't like wet stuffing and Amy is trying to play it off but she also says she doesn't like that. Well we used to put some in the bird and then have a casserole of it and then we mix it all together. Mm. And that's good. Well that is the first time ever hearing of it everyone. All right. I'm gonna put this little about just some. Yeah I'm gonna just do like a tablespoon. Because <clears throat> there's a lot of tablespoons. Um, I want to, so a quick poll of everybody who's on right now. What do you guys think of the Wednesday nights? Do you like them? Is it inconvenient? Is it more convenient on a Saturday? What's, what, what do you guys think? I just want to know. As we move into the I like it better. It was a really cutting into my social life. I, no, I don't think that's true. <laughs> this is my social uh -huh. life. Yeah. I mean, she's not far off. Um, we need salted butter, which I already put in there. We need half a teaspoon of cinnamon. God, this lid. Like bane of my existence. Okay, I'm going to turn this down because it looks like we got a little bit too much flame here. Also, use a cast iron because it's going to give you some nice browning and everything. Caramelization. We need a little salt in there. I know. What do I need? One eight, which I have right here, everyone. You really seem to prefer those. We can get rid of the others. No, you need more. Food. Have you seen this show? <laughs> uh, and we need vanilla, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, which let's, I think we need. Oh, no, still here. Okay, well, you, I think most of the people watch this show for chaos, and that's why. Oh, it smells good, though. Or is that the Dutch babies? Oh, look, look at the Dutch babies. Yeah. Doing their business, everybody. Look at them popping up so cute. I need one, two tablespoons of water. So I I mean, these are a side dish, a breakfast side dish, we're calling it. Um, but you really could put, like, everything you do with crepes, like ham, Swiss. Well, yep. Sorry, honey. jalapeno jelly, regular jelly, powdered sugar, Nutella, whatever you want. It's going to be so good. So a couple of things here. This is looking good. Yeah, good. I like that. That looks really good. Yeah, I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. And then Crips are not a main dish. They could be a side dish. What are you talking about? Crips are, you eat crepes with like eggs. Yeah. See a door. God. You don't know. See, there's such a know it all. <laughs> Guy watches the show once every year and he thinks he knows what's going on. Right? <laughs> Go on to you, Sandor. I appreciate you coming back, though. It's nice to see you. <laughs> it's nice to see you on Halloween, too. What if Sandor? Oh, you could put a little, you could put some nuts in there, too. That'd be good. 
<laughs> Denise is laughing in the comment too. At and that move you just pulled with your hair. I'm sort of trying to make it you get a little what are you getting? Thicker with our sauce here. Alright, that's good. That's gonna be real good right now. So. These are gonna soften up real nice. What do we got? Three minutes. So this is good. <laughs> They don't have egg carts. They do have crepe carts. And then he clarified street carts. Well, I think you're wrong. <laughs> if you're brave enough, anything can be a side dish. <laughs> and also, we've had this debate on this show for a while about what really we breakfast constitutes as a side. I mean, is it is it going to be like the eggs and bacon? Is that with one meal? There's no side to it. Our potatoes, you know, the if you did like potatoes or brine, is that the side? We already did that, so that's constitutes. We already settled that debate. That's why we haven't done too many breakfast sides on here because nobody can really define what they think a side is. I mean, what about pancakes? I really want to do a pancake episode. Maybe when I make the deal with the new spatulas, we can uh, do a pancake episode. Yeah, but, I like that idea. But I think. Uh, why do you keep shoving everything to the side there? Tell me your rush now. Because I, I want it, I don't want it to, if I keep it in one spot, uh -huh. all the liquid is going to stay together. If not, it's going to caramelize on the pan and get to, um, it'll evaporate and get too sticky. So this way, it bunches around the apples and it keeps, and also it's not, the heat is there, but it's not super direct heat. So we're still sort of cooking everything, but not directly in the middle of the pan. Heat zones. Gotcha. Oh, Everything man. smells amazing. Yeah. Here right now. Yeah. It really does. I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Like for this, we're going to have these, but I'm also making eggs and, and bacon. You should try and, one of those little apples and see how tender they are. Okay. I will. I will do that. I'm going to get two forks and then you can try one too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. That, they're sunk right in. Those are good. Yeah, you can turn it off. Mm hmm. It's perfect. Thank you. Mm. We'll let the carryover heat. Could be sweeter, but I think it's good. The apple really comes through. So, if you want to be, put a little. Oh my gosh, these are getting like such a nice little brown browning on the top. Okay, now they they may not be done. No, they're not done. How can you tell? Because they're not brown. They're about not brown enough yet. I'm going to turn them on. So how much longer do you think, Flo? I would, three minutes. Three more minutes, everyone. You got to watch me tap. Nope, that's the that's baking. <laughs> Kitchen time. Three minutes. Okay. So, going forward. Wait, we're not in there. Hold on. Oh. Okay. I, I I'm get, trying to get you and you know, that. You know what's so hilarious is that I looked at the screen here. Um. And so I saw myself, and for a minute there, I thought I was still standing over there. That's how, they, that's how my day is going. Mm, 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 mm. This is really good. Great area, skirting the line. No, man. You're full of it. He says the cabin door is closed. I got to go. I don't know what that means. What the hell is a cabin door? I don't Are you, know. like, in the woods somewhere? <laughs> That wouldn't, that wouldn't but yes, happen. they did really pop up and they looking very now. Are they gonna? They're not just gonna, they're gonna shrink a little bit, no. but they're not gonna go like no, they do, they do collapse. Okay. Um, they're right. not like Yorkshire puddings, they don't stay. Uh, they'll stay a little bit poofy, but I'm a little bit poofy. That's what, what else is oh, going on? Oh, King, King, he knew what was happening. Yeah, have a good flight. Oh, you're on the plane? Wow. <laughs> I got to tell you. The rest of us did not catch him. We did not. Where you? Oh, he's going somewhere. Uh, he's not going to be able to answer now that the cabin door is closing. But um, if he paid for Wi-Fi instead of, you know, he could, he could stream on there. He could tell, he could tell his he's neighbors. He's on the business trip, honey. He could, tell his, that. he could tell his neighbors on the plane. Man, free advertising. That's what you should be doing. You should be telling all your friends about us. You love coming oh, here. Oh, mine's pink now. Yeah. That's good. You, did you mix it up a little bit? Yeah, I also got closer to the bottom where uh, my. That's why I mixed mine up. Where my 
guys were. And I think all the candies are down there. So, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? It, I think with the cream, it would taste like peppermint ice cream. Yeah, it would. It's, it would also coat your mouth a lot more, though. You know, that's not my favorite mm -hmm. part about milk. So Tomorrow, I'm going to get some cream. We're going to have we're a gonna, taste we're off. We're going to make it again. We need more vodka, though. I'll get some more vodka, too. <laughs> All right. So well, these are actually looking pretty good. I don't know if you want to show, but. I still don't think they're dark enough. What are you talking about? They've got good pushback. I think they're done. How dark are they supposed to be? I mean, like when I've seen them in restaurants, they're they're well, darker. Are honey. There's more. There's less surface area. Yeah, obviously. but it's still once you want it to be. Quit letting all the heat out. It's fine. <gasps> it's fine. You, what if you want to make these? You can stand in front of the camera. <laughs> I am making them. What are you talking about? No, you're not. Anyways. Um, so yeah, that's exciting about the spatula. We'll uh, see how that's going to go. Could you see down inside one of them? And did it? No, wait, wait until the thing. There's butter. In. No, inside, not on the outside, but in the inside. Can the inside of the dome. Yeah. Yeah. Butter is in there. Oh, okay. All right, pull it up. It's your view. No, it isn't. It's, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Jeez, she, she thinks the batter is going to kill me. The eggs are cooked. They're fine. No, I don't think I don't say like my funeral for what? I'm not sure if they're done. I think they look. Look at those. Wow. So those. They have to go back in. Well, no. At this point, let's, that. let's see what wait, we are. Wait, let's look at this camera. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, stop moving. Can you see? Yes. See how it's shrinking? Deflation, yes. everyone. Yes. That is that's what you want to happen. That's what happens. Ah, uh, there goes all their glory. Okay, get your finger out of there. Oh. Shrinky dinks. You know what? Yeah, pink says they're done too. You don't think they needed to be a little bit more? No, I think no, maybe a look, little bit more. Look, all on the same page. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm going to take... Shrinky dinks. I'm going to take this one. <laughs> see? Oh, that's butter I lost, but... See on the outside? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I was wrong. I admit it. So how long was that total? That was 16 minutes. You need a dish, honey. What? No, you don't. You just put it in there and eat it like a cupcake. <laughs> no, you don't. Eat All it right. like a cupcake. You heard it here, folks. I can't put it in we consider it a cat dish, but that's... How, what, tell me about the texture, the feel of them. Oh, look at how they shrink. Oh. What do they feel like? They feel like poofed up dough. Okay, that's enough. You're taking all the... We're going to eat all of them. It's not like we're giving them <laughs> away to people, you know? It doesn't matter if I put all of these in here or none of them in here. Did you guys see that? She thinks that I'm like, that's, I give her the. I want him to share. <laughs> that was bizarre. I want to know. Okay, wait, where's wait. the camera? I want them to see. Look how good that looks. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Yeah. Oh, I do have a fork. You can tell it's going to be good, everybody, because um, we all we both we got quiet. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit chewy, yeah. Yeah, they are. They are when you buy them at the store. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. That yes, is... Ping, you are right. Mm. A scoop of vanilla ice cream and then the apple on top. Oh my now god. you have a dessert. That's why we keep you wrapping. You come back week to week and give the best ideas. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. But that is, it's a little bit sweet. It's a savory. I think it, going along with breakfast and having that is sort of like a. I love like having all kinds of stuff, right? Nutella, yeah, powdered yeah, sugar, yeah. jelly, um, lemon, lemon curd. And, yeah, that would be good. Um, we have all of that. Ham and Swiss cheese. Oh, yeah. So much. Roast beef and, 
and Gruyere. Mm. Everything mm. would be good in this. Mm. Well, folks, we knocked it out of the park. Yeah. This is great. That's a winner. Not bad for two people to do this together in an hour and a half. But I want to just say thank you from the, uh, again, every week. You guys are loyal. We love you so much for coming. And it's so fun to interact with you. That's why, you know, when we were talking about, like, oh, I'm going to be out of town, like, three weekends in a row, we could have made three, like, videos. But that's not sort of what this show is about, right? It's about us and you coming together, having a good time, talking about stuff. And that's why we wanted – we started – we just started going live. We talked about going live on Wednesdays, but – we just, I came home and I was like, well, we need to record an episode. And then we just went live. So thanks for all the weirdness, especially last week <laughs> when we went live on a Tuesday. Um, we will, we've got a lot going on, but we will uh, yep. be back next Wednesday and we hope we see you then. And, you know, again, we just love you. And remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends. SideDishCooking.com will get them there. That's the easiest way to get them there. Um, and remember, be kind, be loyal, do something nice for somebody this week. We love you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye.